Hi Metric Rulers! Welcome back to another video in our tutorial series. My name is Alex and I am the US Social Media Manager for Metrical. In today's video, we are going to be talking all about TikTok. I'll take you through the steps of how to connect your TikTok account to Metrical, we'll talk TikTok analytics, and we'll even talk scheduling out TikToks within the planner. Let's go ahead and get on into it. <laughs> So today we're talking all about TikTok, but before I get into the nitty gritty of our analytics and of our planner feature, I am going to show you really quickly how to connect your TikTok account to Metricool. So you're going to want to go over here to the right hand pane and you're going to want to click into the connections page. This is going to show all of your connected platforms. If I scroll down here over to TikTok, you'll see that you have the option to connect a personal account or a business account. As you can see, we already have an account connected, which is our Metricool app business account. But if you wanted to connect one or the other, you would just click on it and it's going to take you directly to TikTok. It's going to have you sign in and then it's going to have you authorize your account. Makes it super easy. So here I'm just showing you, I'm not going to actually authorize it, but it'll take you to an authorization page like this. Once you've signed in, you click authorize and you are connected and good to go. It's super simple to set up. Once you have that done, then you can get into the fun stuff of analytics and scheduling out your TikToks. So for today, I'm going to start with our analytics first. And this is super exciting because we actually have very in-depth analytics for TikTok that are really great so that you can fine tune that strategy. So once I hit into that analytics tab, I'm going to go down to the TikTok section. And this is going to show me TikTok analytics simply just for that platform if you did want to see more of a summary you would actually click into the summary tab but since this video is focused directly on tiktok we are just going to look at the tiktok section so once you start you'll see up here that it is broken up into four different sections you can look at community demographics account or videos and you can also choose the time frame so i have mine set for the last 30 days but you can choose whatever time frame you would like I think 30 days is a good overview to show you for the example. If there are any notes about metrics, you'll see that up here in blue right there. But let's start going through all of the different analytics. So first we'll start with community. This is things like your growth. So the amount of followers you've gained, how many videos you've posted. You can see here that you can see growth here over the last month or your balance of followers and two different types of graphs. You can also see your demographics and this is also great because you can see you know what type your content who it's hitting so you know your gender or your followers by country that's all going to show here and you can also see it in table format if you scroll down farther you'll see account which is going to show you things like your profile views your video views your likes your comments or your shares over that specific time period so this is videos viewed in this period. As you can see, we had a pretty successful period over the last 30 days. If I click on any of these metrics, you'll see that it removes that metric from the graph. So you can really customize what you want to look at in the analytics. So I'm gonna add them all back. As you can see, those graphs will change as you toggle things on and off. Then you can also see videos published in the period. So this is going to be videos that were actually posted within the specific time frame. Whereas this is videos that were viewed in the period. Here you'll see a summary of engagement, interactions, your average reach per post, your video views, and also how many videos you've posted. You can also see your interactions like your likes, your comments, your shares. And then if you go down here, this is where we're going to get into those advanced TikTok analytics I was talking about. So we're going to talk about impression sources. Now, obviously, impression sources are really important for you to be able to gauge what is and isn't working in your TikTok strategy. So here we have impression sources by a few different metrics. So you have the For You page, your following, your profile, and your search. So here you can see that a lot of our traffic is coming directly from the For You page. Then you can also see your average video views. So you can see the average time watched and the average video duration. Then if you scroll down, you can see a list of videos. So this is going to be all of the TikTok videos that you have posted with those metrics. And as you slide over, you can see specific metrics for each of the videos, like the view count, when it was posted, the likes, comments, shares, reach, duration. As you scroll over to the right, you're going to actually see those advanced TikTok analytics. So you're going to want to scroll all the way over to the right hand side to see those impression sources. And you'll see here for you, follow, hashtag, sound, profile, and search. 
A little tip for you is that if this is your first time looking at these advanced impression sources, you're not going to see them right away. You actually need to make sure that they're toggled on. So you're going to want to click into columns and you're going to want to scroll down and make sure that all of these are toggled on. More than likely, if it is your first time looking at them, they will be toggled off. So make sure to click on all of those so that you can see all of this super valuable information. Another important tip is that in order to see these advanced TikTok analytics, you do need to have a TikTok business account. So make sure that you are toggling that profile to a business account so that you can actually look at these metrics. So really quickly, before I dive deep into all of these advanced sources, I am going to show you one feature that I really like, and that's going to be this graph here. So if you click on overviews, you'll see that each of the videos have a different graph and they are color coded. So for example, this video right here, if you click on over it, you can see where those traffic sources are coming from this specific graph. So as you can see, it's very popular on the For You page and not so much on our other metrics. But if you were to click on a different video, you can see that this one is much more popular in our profile, meaning that people click directly on our profile and chose to watch that one. It's also got an 18% on search, which means that the SEO on that video seems to be performing well. So whatever text we put in that video seems to be searched for on TikTok. You can see this nicely here on all these graphs and you can look at it for each of your videos and it's one of the quickest ways that I find to really, you know, fine tune that TikTok strategy. But if you are looking to look at it a little bit more in depth, you can also scroll over to the right hand side and you can see those percentages broken down. So as you can see here, this video had 92% of those impression sources were from the For You, whereas this one only had 6% come from the For You. But this one had 18% on search as compared to the 2.17% on search. And this is great because you can see what is and isn't working. You can fine tune that strategy, post more videos that perhaps you want more of your videos to be searchable. You can really pay attention to that search metric. Or if you want to see if any trending sounds you're using have been popular, you can look under the sound. You can see here that on the rows per page, I changed it to 50 and this is going to show me the last 50 videos that I've posted. And you can see specifically, like if I were to click on this video, you can see that this video has almost 800,000 views and it is primarily dominating the For You page. So if I were to scroll over to look at my specific analytics, you could see that it's really only pulling the information for the For You, which is much different from another video. Let's say, for example, I wanted to look at this one, which is about the TikTok search widget. If I were to scroll all the way over, you'll see that 64% of that traffic is coming from the search, which means that people are searching about the TikTok widget. So here is just a quick example of another way that you can like, you know, see what is isn't working for your TikTok videos, see how you can maybe fine tune, adjust what you want to post more of, what you want to post less of. So that's basically a nice little in-depth view at our TikTok analytics. I'm going to now move into planning so that we can talk about how you can schedule those short form videos out. So now that I'm in the planner, one thing that I want to touch on before we actually get to scheduling any type of video is I want to touch on our best times feature. So similar to how I said before that if you want to get those in-depth TikTok analytics, you do need to have a business account similar to this. In order to see your TikTok best times, you need to again have a business account. So you'll see here, I'm going to change it from Instagram to TikTok and it's going to give me a gradient. I'm actually going to only choose TikTok so that you can see a nice clear picture of the planner. But as you can see, we have a gradient. So lighter probably means that, you know, your following isn't as active, whereas darker means that those are probably times that you do want to post. You can even toggle on the percentage of your active followers and this is going to give you a little bit more of an accurate representation of when you want to post because it's going to give you those percentages. So for example, today at 1 p.m. I had an 100% time frame. That would have been a great time to post a TikTok video. So let's say, for example, I wanted to post a video tomorrow. I would look at these gradients. I would look at the gradient and I would look at the percentages and I see that I have 94% on Wednesday, the 31st. So I can click on there and then that time is set. 
Then I can make sure that I have TikTok toggled on and I can upload a video. So I already uploaded a video into the planner. This can be original content that you filmed. It could also be repurposed content. Just make sure you're removing that watermark. That is another tip for you. So for example, this one, I did remove the watermark on it because I don't want to upload to TikTok with a watermark. So I made sure that TikTok was toggled on. And as you can see, there is a limitation on the character count. This is a limitation via TikTok. So just keep that in mind as you're writing out your caption. This specific video is about auto publishing Instagram stories. So I can, you know, make a caption that talks about that. Schedule your stories in advance. And this is specifically for IG. So I can you know, further go in depth, schedule your IG stories in advance. Auto publishing is here. Then I can add some hashtags so I can maybe do IG stories, marketing updates. However, your hashtag strategy, your caption strategy, go ahead and input that in. Pay attention to the character count. You can also even add a first comment and this is going to be posted into the first comment of the video once it goes live. I'm not going to add one, but that is an option for you if let's say you wanted to add maybe a question or you wanted to add more information, especially because you do have a limited character count. You could maybe add an, more information here if that was what you wanted to do. And then you're going to want to go into these three dots here as well. These are going to give you some more options for your TikTok videos. So you can actually hit edit video. It's going to open up our video editor. So this is a more basic video editor. It can do things like cropping the video. You can change the size. You can fine tune it. You can also add a filter. So if you do need to make some small touches, you can do that within our video editor. I'm not going to because the video is already set. You can also select a cover here. So similar to how TikTok lets you select a frame, we are able to select a cover. So you could pick whatever cover of the video you want to do. So this one says schedule your Instagram stories with Metricool. So that seems like a good cover. And all you need to do is leave it where you want it and the cover is set. And you also have the option to remove, for example, let's say you changed your mind or you want to pick a different video. That option is there as well with three dots. Another thing to look at when scheduling out your TikTok videos is to look at those TikTok presets. So if you click the little down arrow, it's going to open up here where it says disable comments, disable duet, disable stitch. So let's say I wanted to disable the comments and I would toggle that on. I don't actually want to disable anything, so I'm not going to toggle anything on, but this is just allowing you to further customize some of those presets. Then you're going to want to make sure that's set as auto publish or if you need to go back to it later you can also save it as a draft but ours is pretty much set to go so once you have made sure that all of those tiktok presets are set to how you'd like your post is pretty much ready to go i do want to touch on one more thing though we do have a hashtag search engine and it is available for tiktok as you can see here, you just make sure you toggle between Instagram or TikTok. I already have it toggled on. And because I was searching stories, I had already typed that in. So I can type in stories. Of course, you can get more detailed if you'd like. But I got stories, stories Instagram. So maybe I do want to use stories Instagram. You can just go ahead and click on it and it's going to add that in. Now, this is a premium feature. So if you do have a free account, it is only going to give you the most popular hashtags. But if you do have a premium account, you can take advantage of our hashtag search engine. It's really great. And because we have it specifically for TikTok, we highly recommend that you use it to your advantage if you are looking to spruce up your hashtags or maybe try some new ones out. So now I can make sure everything looks good. I see my preview over here on the right hand side. I can see that my caption is good to go. I have my hashtags, my date and time is good and then I can go ahead and click save. So I'm gonna click save, it's going to upload and process, and then I'll show you how it looks on the calendar. So now that it is nice and saved, you'll see here that it is where I scheduled it out because it was at that 94%, and you can see a little preview of what your caption, your hashtags, and what the video is going to look like with the cover, and it's good to go. And that is scheduling TikToks within the planner. Again, it's a very simple process and we highly recommend if you really are trying to save that time, especially with repurposing content. So now that I've talked about all of the cool things that you can do with the planner for the TikTok videos, I'm going to talk about our inbox feature. I'll just really quickly go over it. It's pretty self-explanatory, but if you go into our inbox tab, you can actually respond to all TikTok comments there. 
Okay, so here I only have TikTok toggled on. Of course, you can toggle on everything else, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to do TikTok. So as you can see here, you can look at your unresolved, your unread comments, or you can view all. I'm currently in view all, but here you can go ahead and respond to those TikTok comments, making it super simple. I already responded to this one. And then once you've resolved it, you can click that check mark. And if you haven't read anything, you can look in the unread tab. I don't have anything right now. And anything that you haven't resolved with the check mark will pop up here in the unresolved. But this is, again, streamlining the process so that you can save some time and answer directly within the metrical platform. I also really quickly wanted to touch on our smart links. You can use smart links with TikTok. If you are wanting to put a link in that bio on your TikTok, you can use a smart link. So we have one directly devoted for our TikTok, and I just wanted to show you this is what the preview is. But when we direct people to the link in our bio on our TikTok, or if we ever want to link to anything specific, they will get a metrical smart link. And then this will hold all of the different information here that they can have access to. So again, streamlining that process so that if you want to direct traffic to somewhere outside of TikTok, you can do that directly with a Metrical Smart Link. The last thing that I want to touch on specifically for TikTok within Metrical is the ability to link your TikTok ads. So you can do a connection to a Connect Ads account for TikTok ads. Again, I'm just in the connections page right here on the right hand side. This is how I got here. So similar to before, you would click on connect ads account and it's going to take you to a TikTok for business authorization. From there, you log in and make those authorizations. Once you have done that, you will have your TikTok ads connected. And what we mean by that is if you have that TikTok ad account connected, you would actually be able to see those ad metrics within your TikTok analytics and it would appear here. That is another great option if you are running those TikTok ads. And that's something that I just wanted to mention because it is an additional thing you can do with TikTok within Metrical. And that's TikTok with Metrical. We hope that you learned something new today. Go ahead and get started using TikTok with your Metrical account. And don't forget to use the code TRY FREE to try 30 days free of any of our premium plans. I'll see you in the next tutorial video. Bye. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,